So let's discuss the Phillies, the Philadelphia Phillies, trade possibilities and predictions. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. So, in today's video, we're going to talk about the Philadelphia Phillies trade possibilities and predictions. Now, before we get started in today's video, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button to make it break up on YouTube and for the algorithm to help me push out many videos. Also, hit the subscribe button with the notification bell on so you guys will be instantly notified when I upload a new video, multiple videos, couple gaming streams, or occasional live streams. Also, get in the comment section down below. Uh, let me know what you guys' thoughts and opinions on the uh, on these trade possibilities and predictions. Also, you guys can check out all my social media and the Spotlight Sports Network social media, which will be linked down below in the description. So go check those out. Go give us a follow. Plus, huge shout out to the people at Spotlight Sports Network for, for partnering with me. So let's keep this partnership going. Also, you guys can check out all my po my podcast series, Sports Talk Podcast with Robert and Tyler, every Saturday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll put the link to the playlist down below. With that being said, let's hop right into it. So, obviously, with the lockout going on for all lot all the uh, 30 MLB teams, um, I thought I'd bring you guys this video about the different trade possibilities and predictions for the Philadelphia Phillies. Now, there's a few players in mind that uh, my buddy Miles actually sent me this a uh, couple deals. Uh, predictions basically as you as you as you, as pretty much not say it, but as you may, may say basically um let's kind of go right over it so obviously for, it's like the first deal uh, my buddy miles sent me was from the tampa bay rays for kevin kiermaier uh he wants to, for the phillies want to try, try you know try you know in order to get him he wants to trade away casey martin who's our uh basically our, our third base third base slash shortstop prospect and uh, right-handed pitcher Gunnar Meyer. Um, let's kind of—I want to kind of discuss about that a little bit. Um, we all know that Kevin Kiermaier is known as a defensive outfielder, but la the last, la like the last season, he's shown a, some promise with the bat. Um, even though his average may see different way, it differently, but he has shown promise to actually know uh, have a decent offense to his game. But for the from the Oakland Oakland Athletics outfielder Ramon Laureano and Matt Chapman. But uh, you know, in order to get these two guys, the Phillies want to try to get want to at least give up uh, third base Alec Bohm and pitching prospect Andrew Painter. Now, I know as the way that it is, it's like I know Matt Chapman is probably one of the better third basemen that's out there, and say with the more with Ramon Laureano being probably one of the better outfield, uh, basically outfielders on the market. Um, I don't know how long their contracts are going to be, or um, but. Like I said, this is a prediction. So if, like, say a team doesn't want to resign them, obviously probably can't because of the of the lockout. But you know, uh, for the final team, that's probably going to be in consideration for the or the Phillies should, should be taking a look at New York Yankees reliever Chad Green. Now, this I think you might I think most most may like or dislike depends who you're asking. Uh, for the Phillies in order to acquire Chad Green, they would have to give up Dede Gregorius. Catching prospect Logan O'Hop and some cast considerations. Um, here's my thing about that. I would love to have Chad Green because Chad Green's a pretty decent reliever. I think he can help out be a better piece in the bullpen. Um, Logan O'Hop, I don't know too much about. Um, but with Didi, I think as we all know as Phillies fans, we know we need to move on from Didi because he has really not been that productive um, as he once was. Um, Plus, when I give some cash up, give some cash considerations too. Um, trying to help get another bullpen piece to help out. But um, yeah, that's what I have you got for my possibilities and predictions for the Phillies who can trade for. But what do you guys think? You know, what do you guys think about my uh, trade possibilities and predictions? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But with that being said, this is Robert from the Philly Sports Talk Podcast. 